Oh, look at that intro. Insane. The Falconer is the final mastery coming to the last epoch, making its way to Aterra on February 21st for the launch of the game. This subclass focuses on your feathery friend, who is the main driving force behind your skills as a rogue. If you enjoy raining death from above, besting your enemies with a sword, bow, or talon, and swiftly maneuvering the battlefield, the Falconer brings a completely new twist to minion gameplay. In this video, we're going to show off the new skills and show off cool interactions from the Falconer. Then we're going to talk a little bit about the different archetypes that the Falconer offers, followed by showing off some builds that will have guides ready for launch. You might also notice some graphical improvements in this video, because there's a lot of upgrades for launch. Yeah, the game Let's looks have a way quick better. look at the skills you unlock exclusively as a Falconer. We'll be going over these and their respective skill trees, but... It's actually interesting, like, Falcon, Falconer could be something I actually play as a minion build. Like, you know, you guys know I don't play any minions, but Falconer, you know, maybe. Just because it, it's like, it's more active, I feel, than, uh, you know, it's not like a necro minion army and you just like stay there and stuff uh, it's more active playstyle it's not really a, yeah like like i said yesterday on, on the woody woody podcast like you are the minion of, of falcon <laughs> i don't know it's interesting uh, if you want a deep dive and more to chew on head on over to max roll falcon is the main character you know <laughs> Link it is what it is to find out more keep in mind these skills will unlock as you level your character automatically learns them after mm, that's our favorite skill though that's our favorite skill to reaching certain thresholds in the Falconer passive. It's actually crazy what you can do with this skill. Like, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> These skill showcases were provided by different Max Roll creators. You can find their Twitch channel on the screen during each skill showcase. I have not seen the Falconer at all, so this is also going to be my first look and my first impression to everything here. First, we're going to look at Falconry, <laughs> the, bondage, yeah. the skill that actually enables the Falcon. Bina, take it away. All right, so this is the Falcon from the Falconry skill. As you can see, as you walk by you, he just passively auto-attacks everything. He is a minion, and he is invulnerable to any attacks. So you don't have to worry about his survivability or anything like this. He also has access to an active skill, which you can see him dashing his way here through the enemies and killing everything in his path. This yeah. is obviously on a cooldown, so you won't be able to spam it, but there are ways to reduce its cooldown. and. Be yeah, game looks way better. Like there's like new lighting and and stuff. Like it, it, yeah, <laughs> like it, it's after playing CT, I like if you go back to live client, it's like holy fuck the difference. Being able to spam it <clears throat> even more. So basically, this is your Falcon friend, which is the main fantasy around the Falconer. To be able to use other skills, you also have to have the Falcon on your hotbar, as we'll see a little bit later but this is the base ability of the Falcon. So, Bina, are there any cool interactions that changes the skill a lot? Yes, so your Falcon can actually use Acid Flask. So if you go <laughs> to the left side of the... <laughs> the first thing he mentions, mentions, your Falcon can use Acid Flask. Wow, dude, Acid Flask. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's the best thing for sure. Tree here. You can actually see that there's toxic airdrop and your falcon now throws acid flask for you obviously this consumes yeah. your um a acid flask yeah. of your mana cost for acid flask you can max this out so you can throw even more and then you can even grant him a chance to gain charges when you use acid flask so finally guys an acid flask buff and your falcon <laughs> has the chance to use it yeah that, that you know it might not be the best thing anyway still you know but next finally. up we're gonna look at aerial assault with mcfluffin Thanks, Diz. So Aerial Assault is a new movement ability. Yeah, and this is this is cool. Uh, like, actually using something else than Shift on, on Rogue, uh, like a Traverso skill. One of the really cool things about it is it's not like, it's not your character moving, it's actually your Falcon moving you. So as you go throughout <laughs> the world and you use Aerial Assault, it'll actually pick you up and throw you in front of where you were. And it can actually throw you quite a long ways. And at the end of it, it will actually do a feather burst attack. So it'll do damage to enemies that are in front of you at the very end of the flight that you take, thanks to the bird. And is there any like big things that we can change on this skill to make it uh, have a different interaction? Absolutely. So I am a huge fan of uh, shadow daggers and I, I play that probably more than anything. Of course, you know, L Lone Star is like a uh, shadow daggers enjoyer, you know. 
Ben cleared Feared. I mean, like like I said, you know, he always does it. You know, it's like oh, of course he does it. You know? Yeah, this is also crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, surely they nerfed Shadow Daggers. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely, yeah. Anything else? And this actually gave us a new. Also includes a few Umbra blades that your file controls for you that can apply SD, right? So like, okay, nice. You get auto automatic Umbra blades that can apply SD. Two way to play what about this? Yeah. a Shadow Dagger build. So if we go up here. Sure and we take Twilight Strike, we actually get access to Umbral Blades, which has the ability to throw out blades um, at the same time when the feathers are being thrown out. But those can apply Shadow Daggers. On top of that, Aerial Assault itself has- Okay, he didn't show it, but I mean, it's it's here. Um... Like, <clears throat> I mean, so if you spec Umbral Blades, to apply shadow daggers and then you spec this you get like double stacks i guess so yeah sd buff easy easy yeah that's what it needed you know easy as a node that allows additional shadow daggers to be thrown out for even more damage so this gives us a way to play another shadow dagger build that's now <laughs> using the falcon instead of the typical blade dancer mm. and it does a ton of damage and you can see all the explosions going off here oh, of and course. you can build umbral blades in different ways to make it spinning blades in front of it and just allows for a ton of customization even in that small little bit of the skill tree next up we're gonna yeah sd, SD on forge card fixed easy i do dive bomb with boardman yeah, thanks, Ziz. Dive Bomb is the last skill that you get access to as the Falconer, and with it, it does a powerful AoE that does a single hit in a big area, allowing you to do great single target as mm. well as clear out huge hordes of mobs that you can round up. One of the sweet things that you can get to do with the Falcon is it has great damage effectiveness, and you can also boost mm -hmm. its damage by stacking a lot of your primary stat. And you, by you can make all of these like instant cast, by the way, like with the uh, passive. But basically, I think you can just run and using bow attacks. use the skills. So how does this skill work? Do you target a location and it slams that location? Yep. All you have to do is point your mouse where you want it to go, call it down, and it will fly from the sky, doing its huge damage in a big area. Do you know what's the lowest you can get the cooldown to? So the cooldown has a couple of interactions with other skills that actually replenish uh, its cooldown and gives you cooldown recovery every time that you use like traps, for instance, and they explode you can take off 4% of the remaining cooldown. So mm -hmm. you can actually make it uh, be reused really, really fast. Yeah, you can almost like spam it, I guess. Um, dive bomb. Yeah, 500% effectiveness. Mm. Mm. And you can make it instant cast and, you know, you can reduce the cooldown and stuff. Mm, okay, seems... seems uh, yeah. And is there any nodes on the skill tree we can take that changes this skill drastically as well? Oh yes, it has a couple of synergies with other skills. For instance, if you go inside the skill tree, you can make it to, you can target over here on the right side, the decoy. Mm -hmm. And when you hit the decoy, you can make the decoy explode instantly. Decoy. You oh, it's the node. Decoy bomber. If, if die bomb hits one of your decoy, it detonates it, causing it to deal more damage. You're decoy right bomber, side, login. Decoy, <laughs> and when you hit the decoy, I mean, it could be. The I mean, there already was a build like that. Falcon Blast. So you actually have decoy. You can throw it out. Decoy will then call in all the enemies to target it. And then you can make it explode as soon as the enemies are close by with the dive bomb. And next yeah. up, we're going to see Explosive Trap by Volca because the Falconer actually has individual skills that don't rely on the Falcon as well. Oh, shit. This is actually the first skill you can get uh, by speaking into Falconer tree. So you only need five points on the Falcon tree to get this skill. Uh, it's a, like a classic trapper, trapper play style. Um, you can actually do any any of the elements uh, uh, as a damage type with this. So you can do fire, cold, or, or lightning, or even even all of those at once. So really cool, like mm -hmm. a classic trapper trapper play style. So is that why the traps have different colors? Yeah, exactly. So I have actually converted converted this all of the elements at once. So cold, fire, and lightning. And uh, that's actually the way you can maximize the amount of traps you have uh, at once, pretty much. So basically maximizing the DPS. Is there any way? Yeah, I, I was like specced into, um, into these, basically. Basically what they do is like, 
if you take all of the conversions at once, you know, so it's going to be like fire, lightning, and, and, and um, or it's going to be converted to lightning and cold, and then it's going to be the base, base type is fire. You take this node, um, you basically throw like a non converted trap and uh, the converted ones, and you basically just get more traps. And you also take these for like additional traps thrown, so you throw like five at once. So that's the idea basically there. It's kind of weird to explain, but yeah. <laughs> Way to make this skill interact with the Falcon. Uh, yeah, so it, it can actually give pretty massive amount of uh, amount of buffs on the Falcon itself. So basically, you throw traps, and when they detonate, you get buffs on the on the Falcon. Yeah, and th that's um, that's this note, sky signal. Yeah, this really like the blast train stuff, especially. Yeah, uh, it was actually funny funny to see. Like, I was watching Caesar on stream. When he was watching the video and like when my my uh my stuff came on it's like early login early login early login like holy fuck <laughs> yeah but yeah, there's also stuff like this like uh, like sky signal unlimited amount of stacks um you uh, detonate the traps and you get like a stacking uh damage buff i mean i mean uh, you know and th then you get all of this stuff like extra detonations or extra like trap drop chance and stuff it's gonna be detonating uh, like a million times and you get like one trillion stacks so uh seems like you know may maybe have a cap maybe perhaps you know cap cap would be nice but i mean <laughs> so are there any big changes you can do in the skill to make the skill behave differently yeah so you can actually make this skill a bow skill with the with the blast train node here so oh. you spec the bow, bow skill here and then you can also get uh, detonating arrow procs on, on the skill, so you're gonna be like a fully fully bow playstyle if you do this. Wow. Yeah, so you, you have like massive range, massive AoE, uh, you have procs going like everywhere. Amazing playstyle, at least in my opinion. Definitely the most fun I've had in... in, uh, in Am LD I playing this? Skills. Wow. You can, you can also do this <laughs> without converting it to bow, but I mean, uh, the bow just makes it so, so, so good, you know? That's a like explosive arrow on crack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that reaction. I was going to start scroll, but now I'm not 100% sure anymore. Holy. And the Falconer also has utility skills. So next wow. up, we're going to show up the net ability. Yeah, that, that was a, yeah, was a fu funny while we're, we were doing it. It's like, holy, what? And I, I kind of was expecting a reaction like that because, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you use the, like, the. Um, Explosive trap has like a throwing throwing skill, so if you don't convert it, yeah, you can just uh, seal the minus mana cost. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty high mana cost though. Yeah, ten. I mean, who knows what the numbers are in the actual patch, but but yeah. With yeah, the, like th minus throwing da damage doesn't or uh, minus throwing mana cost doesn't work if you spec into blast drain, so because it's gonna be like a bow bow attack. Yeah, so Net is going to be a very powerful supporting skill in order to control yeah. monsters. It basically immobilizes regular enemies and is going to also reduce the movement speed of uh, rares and bosses. And mm -hmm. as you can see, it also makes uh, your character leap backward whenever you use it. Are there any different ways we can make this skill completely different? There is one particular way that is very interesting at the bottom of the tree here. Yeah, you can, you can make it into a trap. <laughs> Derek with the skill that sends him back. I mean, he could always do the, uh, you know, the, like, like, aim behind him to go forward, you know, because it's like a backflip. Uh, but I, I guess for the gameplay, he, need to be, he had, had to be, like, you know, not too fast. He was holding back, you know. Yeah, there's stuff like you can make it, a, like, a net trap, and uh, you can use puncture. I think the bleed stuff is the most interesting one here, though. At the bottom of the tree here, Basically, you're going to convert Stop the, the net trap. into a trap, and from that trap, it's going to use puncture. Yeah, yeah, you, you can disable the jump also, but you can you can do stuff like, same as with, uh, like, shuriken backflip and uh, smoke bomb backflip. Like, you basically aim behind you to go forward, you know? But yeah, you can also disable the, the thing entirely. The interesting part about it is that you can actually use uh, bow attacks with it. So it's actually like a range playstyle. So are those caltrops that are falling down from the net? This is also another part of the skill tree. Whenever you use a uh, mm -hmm. net, it's going to throw caltrops where you use the, the ability. 
and it's also gonna use uh, caltrops where you aim that. So it's kind of like um, leaving behind dot on the ground. So now it's basically a clearing ability. As we've just learned, the Falconer offers loads of different yeah. playstyles. You don't have to just be a minion build, and you have loads. Yeah, it's um like the bleed stuff looks pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, on the on the net, I think there is gonna be at least like one bleed net build. Mm, I mean, two hundred percent bleed chance. Then you get like they should also apply to the caltrops the bleed because it's a sub skill. Uh, so you get bleed for everything, and you get like bleed stacks here, and you get more damage and more bleed duration. So yeah, the bleed stuff is gonna be pretty strong, and there's also other stuff I think. Um, yeah, on aerial assault you have this thing gives you like uh, falcon bleed chance per dex, basically dex stacking. Like they're, they're really incentivizing you to go like dex stacking with uh, with uh, with this class. Mm -hmm. Lots of exclusive skills that you can't use otherwise, and cool interactions with other things. Next up, we're going to look at a build from Boardman, and this is something that will have a max roll guide, and we'll have a separate video for this before launch, so make sure... Is this game worth buying uh, after playing PoE and, and D2? Yeah, I mean, for sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure it is. Well, Boardman, tell us a little bit about the build. Oh yeah, absolutely. So this, this build's going to be using a lot of the Falconer abilities. We're going to have Aerial Assault, we're going to have Dive Bomb, we're going to have Smoke Bomb to buff us with our defense, Falcon Strikes, and then we'll be throwing some Trap. Every time that we use Aerial Assault, we'll leap forward. Our Falcon will have a nice Feather Storm that he puts out there. We'll have Dive Bomb to come down and absolutely destroy enemies for single target in the necessary area. And then when you really need, you can have Falcon mm. Strikes go off which is going to allow us to just have a bunch of attacks on a whole bunch of enemies in a small area. And then whenever you need to buff your Falcon, we can throw out traps. And every time a trap explodes, it's going to give penetration for our Falcon, allowing his damage to scale and get- Yeah, he said penetration goes, um, well, uh, basically he means, he means this note. So a bit of a spoiler maybe, you know, uh, anyways. It's uh, that's the kind of, kind of the idea. Like you, you want to be using trap on every build. I feel like like this is a, like a full minion or full falcon build. It's still using trap for the buff. You know, it's also getting like dusk shrouds from the from uh, um, from this node, right? Smoke traps, so you get like glancing blow and dodge and stuff. Very 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 balanced, right? <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, LE is definitely worth buying, yes. Um, I used to play POE for like 10 years and stuff, so yeah. LE is really good, and like now is the best time to, you know, start playing the game and stuff. With 1.0 and everything. Maybe you want to play, you know, play it now, so it's kind of, you kind of get like a feeling for it before the, before the launch. You got it? Nice, nice, nice. Get absolutely ridiculous. Due to Dive Bomb having really great damage, a lot of added damage effectiveness and scalers with it, single target is just as good as clearing, so you can go super fast if you just want to speed run Echoes, or if you want to take on bosses. What's the tank on this build like? It's very tanky, you even get to leech a portion of the damage that the Falcon is doing, and because it does so much damage, you can pretty much always count on a ton of leech coming in to keep you alive. Yeah, they changed the, it's a life gain on hit, but you know, still. So Volka, show us more of the crazy bow build. Yeah, so we're using Explosive Trap as the main uh, skill here. So proking tons of detonating arrows and uh, icicles <laughs> from the Reign of Winter Bow. Otherwise, it's a classic bow playstyle, so, you know, using shift for movement and uh, smoke bomb and uh, some of these utility skills like shurikens for, uh, for uh, tankiness. For full clarity, the build we're showing here is actually a marksman. This specs into the Falconer tree to gain access to its skills and passive perks. Overall, really like strong DPS build. It's it's really squishy though, so you need not to be true. And <laughs> I mean, I I lied, I lied, because I mean, yeah, this like you know the base setup yeah, is squishy, but this is not squishy. <laughs> this is not squishy, uh, but you know, then again, like maybe promoting the free stuff is you know maybe it was good that I didn't like promote it, but I could have said just like. Yeah, uh, it's kind of squishy and just move on, but yeah. Yeah, 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 I mean, but, you know, it's fine, it's just fine. killing enemies before they kill you, basically no defense. 
you don't really but need it, any defense. But it, it is true that like this, this, like the usual setup, the most straightforward damage setup. I mean, this is squishy. I mean, m maybe if you have or Orient's Eye and, and Prison Wraps, it's not, uh, you know, it's not the most squishy in the game. But you know, you know, you know how Marksman is. But but yeah, with the cheese. Freeze cheese, uh, then yeah, I mean, can't die if everything is frozen. So, with this build, to be honest, because as you can see, the gameplay is just, well, kind of, <laughs> kind of absurd with the AOE and range. Maybe you could, of course, build some tankiness, but that's kind of the thing with Marksman. It, it doesn't really have much options mm -hmm. for like huge tankiness. You can, you can get glancing blow and armor, but yeah, of course, HP, but you know, there's not that many options. Yeah. So, can you walk me through all the skills you're using in the build? That is true, you know. Except for the freeze. Uh, without breaking any, are, are the trade factions good? Uh, the factions are amazing. Yes. Do I have it here, like in the in my history? Yeah. Like the fa factions are. I mean, like COF. Uh, you can't actually make this bigger, really. Fuck! I want to pause it. Uh, but you get, you know, you get stuff like. Double T7 affix chance, and you get like uh, I think it's like yeah, twice as likely to have LP on unique. So like it, it's really crazy. The drop rate faction and the uh, trade. I mean, trade is like dependent on players, of course. Like, who, you know, are people actually gonna have stuff to sell, and like, are there enough good players for you to buy things and everything? But uh, like the factions are really uh, basically there's gonna be a, like a lot, lot more loot. Like you're gonna be getting really strong things. Uh -uh. Yeah, you need to have Falcon on, on your bar if you like, you know, to have the Falcon up. Yeah, uh, just like with Holy Aura, for example, you need to have Holy Aura if you want, you know, uh, you know to actually get the bonus. What they do? Yeah, so explosive trap uh, as a main skill, then that's gonna proc the detonating arrow. Uh, so we actually don't need to really use detonating detonating arrow mm -hmm. uh, manually. So yeah, got, like um, it's pretty easy to run out of mana. So you will need to use DA uh, manually for for like mana on hit, at least on bosses. But, but yeah, and that's why I built like like 400 max mana here. So yeah, and, and pretty nice region. So you can you don't need like you want to minimize the time you spend spend uh, manually casting DA because you know it does no damage if you manually cast it, which is kind of funny, you know, because like. It's better, better, better to proc it than actually use it yourself. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it is what it is. Sometimes you need to use it for mana, basically just gaining mana on hit, and uh, then shift for movement and uh, smoke bomb for basically just some some tankiness, some uh, crimson shroud stacks, mm -hmm. glancing blow, and uh, then then decoy. You can use decoy for um, basically taunting enemies. And I guess this build just has single target and farming. Like it's it's got it all except tank. Yeah, exactly. It has everything except tanky. As, as you can see, let's uh, pop this here. Uh, these these enemies are usually pretty tanky. They basically die instantly. Yeah. So that marks the end of the Falconer showcase that we're bringing you here today. <clears throat> Falcon summoned to use aerial assault. I'm pretty sure yes. I'm pretty sure yes. Uh, because you know it's a Falcon skill. I'm not entirely sure uh, on that, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure you you do need to have. Because it's uh, like um, your falcon dives to catch you, you know. So <laughs> I would assume that uh, you need to need to have it. All right, yeah, really good video. Uh, I think there's even in the end there's okay. like a. Make sure you go to Max Roll as well to help show me this and and make this an amazing video. I hope you that's me. <laughs> you guys enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. A big thank you to 11 Hour Games for making an amazing video game and letting us show off the Falconer. And as always, try to die less than I do. <laughs> Insane production value. Insane. Actually. Holy. Been as a pick. I mean, it's fine, it's fine, it's a good pick, you know. <laughs> it's fine. Mm. Yeah.
But they, they, that's like the Falconer pretty much. Overall, I, I, th this showcase was, was crazy good. <laughs> oh, yeah. So nice. So nice. Cut it with paint? I mean, it can happen, you know? Mm. A lot of this stuff is like you basically apply your character stats into the Falcon. Like all, all of this stuff is like, um, you know, percentage of your damage applies and crit applies and stuff like that. Uh, you can some more damage and stuff. Kill threshold here, here sixteen percent, pretty nice actually. Mm. Mark, but the, uh, I think if you play like, I mean, basically the Falcon is gonna be pretty crazy. <laughs> so either you play a full minion build with Falcon. Or you played play something with with bleed. I have like some stuff here, like the Falcon stuff, you know, like full Falcon stack decks. Uh, you know, grant damage from your character stats. Uh, use the instant cast node, of course, because why not, you know? Um, and there's like a lot of synergy on the skill trees. So th that's gonna be one build for sure. I mean, would be kind of interesting if it wasn't, you know, like play Falconer, you know, there's no Falcon build. Um, I think you can also use this for something like, um, kind of like as a utility or, or buff type of thing, you know, because you get kill threshold, the mark, uh, maybe for a ballista build, for example, uh, get some attack speed, move speed, stuff like that. <laughs> let, let, you know, let, let's be, let's be nice to Bina, let's be nice to Bina. <laughs> He's getting enough shit already. <laughs> uh... Mm. Spear, yeah, there's like spear stuff also, yeah. Um, I mean, it has been a meme uh, for quite a while, like Spear Rogue. I think Mike plays it on stream sometimes, like the dev stream. Uh, there's like spear stuff here. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Cormac? Mm. Explosion Trapalista. Uh, I mean, I, 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 can, I can say it... It looks to be very good, and you should be extremely happy to play it. And uh, there's also a high, high chance that we will have a guide on Max Roll for 1.0 release uh, for a Ballista Trapper build. So, you know. <laughs> so, yes, it, it should be, should, should be uh, interesting, to say the least. Yeah, we're just joking about Bina, yeah. He's, he's cool, he's cool, really cool. Yeah, I, yeah, it's completely based on the stuff we have seen. It's only theory crafting, you know, it's it's just, what, what if what if you take this node and that node, you know, it's, of course, you know, I haven't haven't seen anything uh, else, you know, it's, uh, of course, of course, of, of course, of course. Uh, I mean, for, 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 uh, for Ballista, on Trap, uh, so you can you can summon ballista uh, with the trap easy gaming. Then you can go like uh, I, I'm guessing you want to maximize the traps like like always. Um, yeah, you go dusk shroud and stuff. Mm, you can go like you can ac actually what you can do is you can reduce the mana cost to zero. I'm pretty sure, and uh, you can use this as a generator. So you need like I think like exalted throwing mana cost. Like D6 or something. At least two of them. And uh, then you can use this as, as a generator for mana. Uh, so you basically throw it and it doesn't cost mana, it actually generates mana for you. Because on um, you have this on, on rogue, right? Eight eight mana gain when you use a zero mana skill, but has you know has to be zero mana, so so yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Full on crit or ailments. Uh so you want to be going crit for sure. Because I, I think I have it listed here also. Yeah, I have like a one uh, paragraph about Ballista. Because there's stuff like this on, on uh, Falconer. Um, you gain, your minions gain additional crit multi per uncapped uh, crit avoidance. So, you know, stack crit avoidance to get crit multi. Nice. So use like, you know, Woven Flesh and let's see. 
you know, use, uh, use stuff like this, you know, 100 crit avoidance. So basically, you're stacking crit avoidance for damage and get crit avoidance on your, on your rings, you know, minion crit multi base, maybe. Yeah, like crit avoidance everywhere you can. Um, let's show Falconer. Mm -mm. Yeah, so th this node seems to be pretty pretty nice, you know. And then there's other stuff also like ballista crit chance, space crit uh, for five points, uh, ballista bow damage for ballista. I think there's other, other stuff also. Mm. Yeah, bow damage uh, crit chance. Yeah, crit multi minion crit multi also. So you actually double dip on this node. Uh, it's here. Yeah, crit chance, minion crit chance, crit multi, minion crit multi. Pretty strong, pretty strong. Mm. So yeah, you can. There's definitely gonna be a ballista build. Uh, and yeah, the explosive trap, uh, summoning uh, ballistas. Where's my stuff? Yeah. So that that's gonna be a build for sure. Ballista build. That's more. That's a, that's for like basically for Bina because Bina is a ballista enjoyer. Mm. And what else? Acid flask. Acid flask. Login. <laughs> I mean, what? Well, maybe if it was zero mana cost, you know, zero percent mana cost, then maybe. Mm. But yeah, the other stuff. Da trap. It's gonna be massive. I'm gonna leak start with the uh, with the trap. Trap uh, DA for sure. Um, I think you even go like spark charge on it because you know you're scaling spell damage anyways. If you have points, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If this gives you mana, uh, I mean, then yeah, sure, sure. It's actually like crazy how high the mana cost is on Acid Flask. It's like yeah, ten ten mana cost. Like what? Ten. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, tripwire. Yes, <laughs> that is. Uh, yeah, on 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 uh, on ballista. I actually need to get points for it. Mm. Yeah, there's like, you know, stuff, stuff like this, more damage per dexterity, you're, you're gonna be stacking like, you know, Morning Frost, I guess, and full dexterity stacking, and I don't know, I don't know if you use Morning Frost, you can, but, um, so that's like 8% more damage per dexterity, with, you know, with Ballista, and um, there's just like, like a bunch of, bunch of dex stacking, I mean, the Mastery Bonus also, Mastery Bonus also is, Plus one Falcon melee damage per four decks, and you you can do interesting things like like uh, like this stuff here. You can go block even, maybe use the uh, erased or the Weaver's Wheel shield, you know. Uh, maybe even Bulwark. I don't know how, how good that would be, but you know you could go block because you're gonna, you're going to be stacking decks anyways. Go block and um, yeah, there's a bunch of things for decks. Well, control and damage per dex, yeah, and like armor, yeah, armor per dex, you know. So uh, get as much dexterity as possible. Get everything by stacking it, you know. Damage, defense, all that. Yeah, patch notes. Yeah, we, yeah, we definitely need to see the patch notes also. I think at, at least the takeaway is that the new new classes are very very OP, like very strong. Which is not, it's not a bad thing, necessarily, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can you can do me melee, uh, melee DA, yeah, you can do that, yeah. Uh, then it's gonna be melee, but, you know, um, you can, you can do that, yeah. And then, then you don't need to go marksman, because, um, you know, the, the weapon, weapon has, like, minus mana cost for DA. <laughs> Okay, what else? What else? So ba ballista, ballista is on the table for sure. I think Bina already has theory crafted like a like a full build. But yeah, you can go shield even. Uh, 
depends like what you want to do. You do want to go like full full tank or or balanced or full DPS. But you could go for this shield, you know. Uh, kind of get like free free block cap, you know, get like block on it and stuff. D7 and I mean it's a Weaver's Will item. You can't really decide what you get on it, but mm. yeah, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. I think there's also other stuff like on. I think it was on aerial assault. Need more points. <laughs> yeah, you have a. I think it's ballista here. Yeah, this thing also. After landing, so basically after using aerial assault, ballistas deal more damage per int and gain 75% increased attack speed. So that's also a thing you can do. Maybe you don't do um, explosive ballista with this. Maybe you do like the regular one because you know you get the attack speed and everything. I don't. I don't think you can stack int and and dex at the same time. Feels like because I mean it's quite a bit of you know affixes just for the for those. But yeah, that's also a thing you could do. Uh, yeah, then the the shadow decker stuff, of course, gonna be McFluffin's favorite. You know, specialty. Gonna be OP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, you can't spec DA, but you can you can still get the procs even 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 if you're not, not uh, marksman. You know, you, you can you can still it's still gonna proc DA even if you're not marksman, but you just can't spec it. So, but the main main reason why you want to spec DA is for the mana cost. So you, you know, so you get zero mana cost on it. So if you're using the dagger, you might be able to just, you know, completely like ignore the the DA three. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would definitely prefer playing bow because uh, just because of the range, it's it's gonna be so much faster and safer because you know you you don't need to be melee. Uh, I don't think you want to be like. I mean, you can do it, of course, but because you actually have a choice, do you go melee or bow? So, so you know. Mm. Yeah, shadow dagger stuff. That's gonna be OP. What else is gonna be OP? Ballista shadow daggers. Uh, my trap thing with the with the bow. Mm. Yeah, the bleed stuff is is for sure. Like a like a build bleed net and um. Aerial Assault, I think, had. Yeah, the bleed stuff. You even get extra cal drops on, on uh, when you use AA. <laughs> so much like synergy. Yeah, throwing pun puncture, yeah, on, 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 uh, on net is the thing. Yeah, you can go net trap, which then re releases nets and you can. It basically uses puncture also. Mm. This will use the melee or bow version, depending on your equipped weapon. So if you have a melee weapon, it's gonna be a melee, melee puncture. So you could do, I think, of falconry. Let's see, on falconry, there's this thing. Um, so you first you have this falcon mark stuff. You basically cons like falcon hits mark enemies, and you consume the mark, and um. Uh, when you consume the mark, your falcon ga gains additional melee damage equal to a portion of your blah blah blah. So like, hmm. Uh, I mean, te technically, like you could use something like. I mean, it would be pretty interesting, but let's say you use okay, get rid of the shield. Let's say you use like Leviathan Carver has a lot of flat damage. And um, this net thing here has like, you know, you're gonna be using melee puncture because you have a melee weapon. And then you should be getting like massive buffs from this because it's gonna take the added damage from, from the, or the flat damage from the weapon. Because you're gonna, you know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, depending on the type of ability used to consume the mark. So if you're using a melee skill, you're gonna get melee damage for the Falcon. 
and the puncture is gonna be melee skill. But I, I don't know how it works because you're you're also like throwing a trap. So you know, like which one goes first? Do do you is it gonna be getting throwing damage or is it gonna be getting melee damage? Uh, but that could be something. I I kind of have a feeling the the falcon has enough damage anyways, so you don't even need to go for something like this. But maybe you just go for like an actual puncture thing. You hope you get a cleaver solution for dex to int. <laughs> yeah. I, I I mean, yeah, that would be... <laughs> Clear is already so OP, like... Oh my god, holy... Yo, Reaver, what's up, man? What's up? Good to see you, good to see you. Yeah, we're, we're going over some uh, some Falcon stuff and, you know... Mm. What, what else, what else? I think those are, like, the main things... Um, like, easiest to see on the on the builds. <laughs> There's more stuff for sure. I mean, there's gonna be many, many builds, but uh, so I'm gonna start with this reefer, with the blast train, blast train bow bow uh, build that I show, showed on the the this gameplay. Where's my uh, where's my gameplay video? Doo -doo -doo. In collaboration with Max Roll. Yeah, we, we just watched this uh, a while ago, but uh, yeah, like this, this is gonna be the gameplay for for me on uh, as a starter. Just less less arrow procs because the bug is fixed, but you know, it's, it's 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 still gonna be great. It's it's gonna be great, but it's it's not gonna be as flashy. Um, and you might actually need. A bit of gear, you know, because this guy doesn't have any gear, so it's it's actually good that they fixed uh, fixed that, of course, you know. But yeah, that, that's gonna be the gameplay for for me in one point though, like the first character. Am I doing ward or normal? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I can't really, I actually can't really decide. So basically, I I'm gonna have on the guide, I'm gonna have both both setups. I'm gonna have the ward setup and the hey, uh, and the uh, deck stacking. DPS setup. I, I think I want to do. I might I, I might do kind of like combo. Like I might go for morning frost and the gloves, which is kind of like counterintuitive because you know you're gonna be reducing your resistance with this. So I might do that, or might I might just go for the full deck stacking because this is gonna be so much damage. Uh, but the freeze also is like so much tankiness. So I don't know. Maybe I want to combine them. But at, at least in the guide, I ha I'm gonna have like. Two different setups. Yeah, the the free, freeze stuff is. Uh, I mean, it, it's really like abusive. I, I really hope they change this node, but things like this node is like hundred years old. Actually, it's been here forever, but you know, it's been useless so far. So. <laughs> mm. Yeah, on net on net you can also get like insane CC. Yeah, like Amit is saying, yeah, mobs don't even move. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like you can, you can, you can freeze the enemies, or you can use net to like completely almost stop them as well. So much CC. <laughs> you heard heard uh, Volka in the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This this had a pretty good reaction to this build. Like, so Volka, holy fuck! Tell me about the build. Like, oh, the crazy bow build. Full Falcon build, uh, yeah, it's also gonna gonna be really good. Uh, it, it is gonna be amazing. Um, for for speed, I, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be the fastest, but it's gonna do a lot of damage, just cause of sky signal, really. Unlimited, uh, unlimited stacks. Basically, getting, it's gonna be penetration. I mean, Boardman said it in the CIS video also. Uh, it's it's not more damage anymore, but but you know, it's a bit of bit of a teaser or leak, I guess. But uh, it's it's not more damage, but still still uh, gonna be crazy. Still want to go SSF? Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go solo solo account found, and we'll see if we go for like trade at some point. But at least to start with, yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, Gonna go SSF, or I guess it's SAF to be exact, because you know you, we're actually gonna have like 
character found and account found even in online now. So. Hmm. Uh, leveling guide. So basically, Terek, Terek does all the leveling guides. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make like a, a you know blast drain leveling guide, but I'm pretty sure like the meta leveling for marksman is is gonna be like very similar to this. Like most likely, you're gonna be still you know leveling. You're gonna be proking the DAs, and instead you just get puncture, puncture as an extra skill to get bleed stacks. So you know you get the stacking buff thing from, from puncture to get bleed chance, and then you can use the trap to get like extra bleed stacks. That, that's most likely gonna be the marksman leveling, so it's gonna be like very, very same. Easy to like move to this build. I, I, I think you want to get Reign of Winter for sure, like before playing this build you want to get Reign of Winter, so basically play the leveling build and then, you know, when you get the bow. Um, you know, respect to the bow build, and th this is like super easy to get the the basic Reign of Winter. You just won't have any crit really uh, un until you have the uh, one LP with crit chance. At least not much. <laughs> What's up, Misha? Yeah, imagine abusing a new class with yeah, exactly one one trillion percent. Yeah, I mean th this is really like really abusive, really cheesy. Uh, this this bullshit here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I really hope they just, like, this should be, like, I don't know, way less. Like, one one per one resistance. If even that. Maybe maybe even less, but, like, you know, it's five flat per one cold res. Like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? So you're gonna get, like, thousands. Thousands of, of flat freeze. So, yeah. Yeah, Im imagine not abusing. That's also true, though. Imagine playing, like, old stuff because you know there's actually interesting new things yeah another another un uncapped note they actually add more and more of those and like every every patch like on 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 on, on trap also this thing is uncapped reminds me of the rive node uncapped one even but, but that that one is more okay because it's a melee build i don't know Mm -hmm. um, incoming. I mean, yeah, we don't know anything about like patch notes or nerves or anything. Um, I mean, what 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 if what if what if um uh, every build is gonna look something like this? Exanguinous last steps and the experimental affix. Of course, different different other items, but what if? What if Ward is still the same? You know, what if? I mean, I'm kind of fine if one patch is like, let's say, 1.0 is the Ward patch. It, it's not that bad, you know. I, ho hopefully, you know, if they don't change it, there's al always 1.1. So as long as it's not like it's gonna stay forever, but I'm definitely going Ward with everything, <laughs> at least now. So unless that changes, you know. Uh, like ward retention has to change so much. Like it, it gives you too much, uh, like too much value. Basically, the curve is kind of like too lenient. You know, it scales too well. But yeah, um, like low life and any kind of ward is gonna be really popular unless they change it. Dark plumage is it the one that gives you like? I think I have it here somewhere mentioned. Dark wing, wing fall. What is dark dark plumage? Because mm. this this is in aerial assault. It gives you drops black arrows uh, with feather storm. Ah, it's another another uh, on 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 falcon. Okay. Mm. Ah yeah, this one. I would I would assume I I would assume that if you have dark quiver spec'd, um, it's gonna affect the you know it's gonna get the three benefits. Mm, not not sure though, not sure. But even you know you press Alt, it shows the dark quiver also, so it it should. 
Ah, uh, this is just like no, no. This is Misha. This is not a build. It's just like thinking about mechanics because you you could you could potentially use a net trap with puncture, so it's gonna be a melee attack if you use carver, and then you're gonna get this this buff here. When you consume the mark, you get additional melee damage, and you're gonna you know you're gonna be using the melee damage puncture with the trap. And the trap would be a throwing attack, so you don't scale with the uh, base attack rate of this. It's just like, you know, cooking, and, you know, just like thinking about mechanics. But I don't think this is needed anyways, because the Falcon is going to do so much damage, like, who cares? <laughs> uh, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, this weapon is pretty, pretty monka, pretty monka. Hmm... Okay, what what else is cool? I think trap is pretty well. Uh, we have talked about oh, traps quite a bit. Might be the most like, you know, might be the kind of like most used new skill out of these these Falconer ones, because like every build is gonna use trap almost. Ballista is gonna use trap. Uh, my build is gonna use trap. The bow build. Uh, Falcon build is gonna use trap to buff it. Maybe the bleed build is, doesn't use explosive trap. Yeah, the spear is crazy. Yeah, the yeah, I know what you mean. The one with physical penetration and like dexterity stacking and stuff. Yeah, it's probably better. Yeah, but just just like as an example, um, something you could do maybe with the puncture trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it has to bleed stuff. You can you can also get like kind of like a bunch of like buffs and debuffs, like you know, slow stacks and you can get attack speed buffs and stuff like that. The damage against slowed. <clears throat> the insane nuke build. Yeah, yeah, Boardman Boardman did show it a bit at least on the in here. He was showing dive bomb. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's five hundred percent effectiveness. So yeah, and it's gonna be instant cast, right? With the mm, with this, yeah, dive bomb and falcon strikes are now instant cast, and the cooldown increase is like nothing, like five percent increase. Who cares? Who cares? Hmm. So yeah, you can basically just run and uh, dive bomb and you know, it's just like, yeah, don't need to stop. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Mm. Yeah, you can you can reduce the cooldown like insanely on this thing. You get like more, like 72% more damage, 80% more damage, extra cooldown though, like 8 seconds, but... <laughs> Damage dealt to mana before life. Hmm. <laughs> well, that, that's some real cooking. <laughs> that's some real, real cooking. Yeah, like, uh, how are you gonna get it, though? I mean, de definitely reducing the trap cost is gonna be a thing for the Ballista build. Because uh, you can actually turn this into a generator with the Ballista build. If you have enough um, minus throwing. I mean, any build, actually. You, you could use Explosive Trap as a throwing generator, basically. <clears throat> Cinder Strike? Is is that a skill in the game actually? Cinder Strike? I mean yeah, you can you can use other stuff also, but um like you know, so you don't have to use anything else. You could you could you could actually use explosive trap as a as a generator. Mm, oh yeah. Need to spec it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, just mana, ma mana stuff on, on, you know, it's a zero mana skill, but you, you know, this, this is actually good. Cinder Strike is kind of monka. <laughs> I mean, unless there's like new uniques or something that you know make it actually crazy. But Cinder Strike is from, you know, the early days, and this is like from today, so. Uh, the difference is quite big, you know, it's, it's, 
power difference is pretty big. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only for mage, like the uh, mind over matter affix, basically, damage dealt to mana. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, ballista traps. It, it's looking, it's looking like it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> it's looking, you know, it's looking like it's gonna be crazy. So I, I would recommend for you to go ballista trap. You won't be disappointed, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bina be, be, be nice, is actually so happy that you know there's a ballista build. Potentially S tier, you know, with this new stuff. Ah, uh, die bomb. <laughs> Sentinel? Mm. Sentinel ballista? No, okay. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. Mm. There's definitely cool stuff on. I think. I mean, this is pretty cool on on dive bomb actually. You can use dive bomb to get like instant bleeds and a bit of more damage also. So maybe you apply bleeds with the net. Apply bleed bleeds with the net stuff, like this stuff here and caltrops, and uh, this also has bleed stuff like aerial assault, net, dive bomb. You go full bleed bullshit, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. Like lots of lots of st stacks and then you instantly consume them. Consume them. Mm. Yeah, the, like the actual like using explosive trap as a as a main like for actual damage, you know, like the trap itself as a throwing attack. That seems kind of un underwhelming. Because it's basically like it's a proking proking tool and like a buffing tool. Uh, you know, you don't you don't really deal damage with the actual trap itself. And yeah, the net. I mean, this is not a trap if you don't spec for it. But yeah, <laughs> focus mage, no mage, only only warlock and and Falcon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. I wonder if I would use actually like net instead of instead of smoke bomb. I mean, I would have to spec more points on on Falcon Tree. Mm. I mean, what would this even give me? Like actually, I, I don't need the bleeds. I guess frailty. Woohoo. I mean, I get frailty anyways. I don't. I'm not using Falcon, of course. I mean, less physical damage is it's kind of nice. Uh, less physical damage on uh, like enemies deal less. Mm. Damage against the load. I mean, yeah. This is throwing throwing attack speed, so not useful for me. I guess still smoke bomb. Actually, there's a you can actually get smoke bomb after using net, but yeah. Hmm. Go with bow. Yeah, that's it. yeah. We were we were thinking about this also. There's um, I need to get rid of this bullshit. Like on on a ballista trapper, you could go, you know, like block basically. Um, so you use use the trap as a mana generator, right? You get like minus mana cost on it. Then you use the um. This shield and stuff, and you know you get like you stack dexterity, and uh, you know you get you get this stuff like this. You know you get block effect per dex, and you use a one hander and uh, armor per dex and stuff like that. Full dex stacking, uh, trapper ballista, and build crit avoidance for the damage. And yeah, yeah, I, I I don't think you like if you want. I don't think you need to go bow with with the trap ballista at all. I I, I don't think it's at all necessary because you're gonna get so much. Let's mean to put in the passives again, so we actually can 
back things. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, like this. This is like eight percent more damage per dexterity. So hundred hundred dex is eight hundred percent more damage. Um. So so I mean, you of course you can go for more damage if you want to, but I I, I think you should be doing quite a bit of damage even without a bow and just just you know, because yeah, you could use for bows you could use stuff like. Uh, this thing, uh, where is it? Light of the first. You get like free crit avoidance, which is crit multi with the passive, and you get crit chance and you know lots of lots of flat crit. But um, yeah, I, th I think shield is definitely definitely like still enough damage, and you're gonna be super tanky, or at least way tankier than with a bow. <clears throat> Yeah, morning frost. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could even go like you know, like mountain boots, for example. They have all attributes, which you know, dexterity. Like every point of dexterity is eight percent more damage just from that that one node. And then you get other stuff also, tankiness, and I think you also get like because you're gonna you're gonna use falcon on this as well because you're gonna be a falconer. You can use falcon for extra damage. Like uh, maybe you go like you know. Uh, go for the mark, maybe. Uh, like kill threshold is pretty nice for bosses. Just as like kind of like utility and extra DPS. Go for the buff here, maybe. Because I mean, ballista is gonna be your main thing, but but yeah, and get some damage. This would be like a bossing, like extra bossing ability, basically. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I I'm actually not sure how how good the like puncture net trap. I mean, thing is like like I said, like you're gonna be getting so many stacks of bleeds with all of these things like cal drops and everything. So, so yeah, but I, I'm not sure if you want to go trap. I actually don't know. I'm not sure, like puncture and stuff. But you definitely want to be using nets and aerial assault with the bleed nodes. And stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, eight percent more per one dex. Yeah, you could you could use woven flesh for the ballista, or you could use like mountain uh, mountain chest, for example. You know, because <laughs> all all attributes. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not sure about the like puncture melee thing. What we cooking? I mean, th just looking at like kind of like everything. Um, this this would be like a ballista, uh, ballista build. I mean, we wouldn't use net, but basically like uh, trapper ballista. Uh, it's gonna be really. Uh, I think it's gonna be really strong. Basically, go for this this uh, ballista stuff and proc ballista less less mana cost. You make this zero mana and use it as a generator, and we get like massive more damage per dex. And you go block with uh, dex node everything. <laughs> yeah. What what's up, uh, shade? By the way. Welcome, welcome. Mm. Yeah. So that would be something. So I mean, you you can do it do it many ways. I think you can go morning frost and. You can go bow if you want to like full DPS meme, but I mean you're gonna get so much damage that who cares really? Just go tank. I mean it depends how it you know is mechanically and everything, but there's, there's I mean there's actually so many options you can do now. I feel like for this blast drain build as well, like you, you can do it in so many ways. Like there's not there's no like one best option. I I, I think. You you kind of want to always get get the free stuff, but then again, like this should be nerfed eventually. So I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Net trap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow, yeah. Like yeah, we 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 did go through kind of like all of those kind of like most uh, promising things. 
like a net bleed, some kind of net bleed build, then shadow daggers with with aerial assaults. So this stuff here. Um, then of course the blast rainbow stuff and like a ballista trapper. Then like a full falcon build with sky signal. Uh, so buffing the falcon with the with the traps and then yeah I think that's that's like all of those like archetypes that at least that I can think of now. Mm. So keep keep in mind um where's my stuff keep keep in mind like these like th th these numbers are you know they they might change so. Um, you know, like n n nothing is set in stone basically for the for the actual numbers. So stuff might might look like you know way too OP, but you know it's it, they they can always change. It's uh, not one point oh yet. So, <laughs> but um, I mean this thing. Well, I mean it's. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I think Boardman ha had this note on, on his gameplay here. Uh, you can see the stacks here. 20 stacks. So that's like 100% 100 glancing blow with 20 stacks of Dusk, Dusk Shroud. I, I, I didn't use it on this gameplay. Um, and I'm, I'm hitting way more with this build, like more traps. So, but, but you know, it... it it, it can change, basically, what I'm saying. <clears throat> Yo, Neither, what's up, man? What's up? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool to have the, uh, like, showcase with, with Caesar and everything. Yeah, it's really nice. Didn't sleep an insane in the video? Yeah, true. I mean, the thing is, you know, it, it was a bit less... It was a bit less, like... It wasn't like super casual, you know, the, when we did the video, it was more like, you know, it was a bit of a different setting. So yeah, I, I forgot to say insane, that is true. Insane missed oppor opportunity, yeah, yeah, exactly. True, <laughs> true. Yeah, shade, yeah, exactly. Stacking crit avoid for the ballista. Yeah, you, 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 uh, you, that would be the main thing, basically main, like, stacking decks and the crit avoid. Um, I'm not sure how much crit avoid you want to actually stack, because I mean, it's pretty like taxing on the suffixes. I, I guess if you go full DPS, you can do whatever. But if you want to make like a pretty balanced build, um, you know, maybe you don't, don't want to go like full in. <laughs> yeah, the range. Yeah, like plasterin is plasterin is so insane. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, like it's like interesting. Like one skill makes marksman good, you know. <laughs> one new skill. Mm -mm, yeah, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> I can't wait to play it. Like holy fuck, dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of calling it straight up bastard, yeah, because I mean, keep in mind, keep in mind. Let's check Reddit actually, because they uh, they did say it somewhere here. The devs. Uh, why is it, why is it this like? I want the old style, whatever. Is it here anymore? Because the devs posted like a max roll thing, uh, you know, the max roll post. Uh, that it, it's a bug bug fix for the. I think it's on this one maybe. I think Justin posted it. No, it's not on this. It's this one. Mm, not sure actually. Someone was like hyping it up here and they did respond to devs. Mm. 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 Basically the point was anyways, point was like uh, less procs. This procs in, in in live, you know. Yeah, old. Yeah, but I had like this like new kind of like new version with the old style at some point. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can do like old uh, dot Reddit. Yeah. Mm. 
yeah, I think it was here, but it, it's gone now. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, whatever. Anyways, they they basically said less procs, but you know, it was like a bug. My my traps traps were proking more than one DA per detonation, but it's still gonna be fine, but less flashy. Uh, but yeah, at at the time of this gameplay, like it was so broken, OP. Uh, like you don't need anything. <laughs> it's yeah. So yeah, I kind of had a hard time not saying it's like a you know how it is. Because it was so busted, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can get a lot of grid avoid, yeah. Yeah, exactly. For the ballista build. The one new skill that adds only 500% more. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's the thing, like, self casted, casted uh, DA is pretty bad. So now you just proc it. And you, you even get more damage for it, you know, because you can... I have like 100 decks here. So, you know, Morning Frost and then this point. I actually get... It's actually better to proc it, like, just, you know... <laughs> I don't know, interesting. There's actually a lot of, lot of like, proc stuff on Warlock also. I don't know, it's like... It's cool, I guess, it's cool, I guess. Lots of stuff happening, so I guess it's fine. I guess it's also a way to make those old skills good, you know? Like, instead of reworking every skill, now you just proc them. I don't know. You can even proc Harvest with Warlock. <laughs> or the, um, yeah, with Chaos Bolts. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah, it's more of a showcase, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you know, so people can see the gameplay here, which was really nice. I was so happy to see the reaction, like Ellie login, fu full of Ellie logins in chat. Of course, of course, uh, Torille first, you know, because the Finnish, Finnish accent. So Tori, 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 Tori is calling, you know, but, but yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, things are subject to change, yeah, like anything can change, they can do many things. Yeah, Tori Ellie login, yeah, exactly. New mastery were strong, wait until you see the new uniques. I mean, yeah, we actually don't know anything about the uniques, that's true. Um, We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Faster... Uh, DA explosions. Yeah. Yeah, proking the skill is better than using the skill yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the, yeah, like, like this is so stupid. Things like they could easily, they could easily fix this, you know. It's just that this is old. It, it wasn't a problem before because nobody was using this, but now it suddenly is a problem. It, it's like a combo of, you know, like, because Ward is so good, you go Shackles and this. It, it, it's like, kind of like, what's the word? Compound on everything. Like, you know, like, it's like too much at once. And, you know, like, adding adding new nodes, like, uh, like the uncapped Sky Signal. They could just have a cap here. I mean, they, they did have a cap on on Warlock, like uh, on some things, like the um, it's easier to see here, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, like on Chaos Bolts, they have you can only only proc it three times per second, and you know, like caps basically. <clears throat> yeah, ten drills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the days. Yeah, I, I do like like the play style is so nice though. Like th this is so fun to play. <laughs> I think it's gonna be like it's gonna be more in line in one point though with the with the bug fix. So maybe it's not as oppressive uh, as it was here. Mm. Also, I have to say, like, the frame rate was pretty bad. <laughs> it doesn't really show here, but, like, especially because I'm, I'm playing at, like, 120 FPS usually. 
the frame rate was pretty crazy, like crazy bad. You know, if you go like full spam and just like, you know, get the maximum procs you could. Uh, yeah, like the FPS tanked so bad. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's actually, I mean, there is a lot of interesting things coming we haven't even seen. Of course, can't spoil anything, but for every glass, there's interesting things. And un new uniques and everything. Yeah, caps, yeah. It's like if you cap these things, I mean. Just like you do, did with the, just like they did with the warlock, capping the procs. I mean, then you can't really abuse it as much. So these are always nice, and I mean they have the tech here, so why not have this, uh, like elsewhere? I, I do think like this. This is like on its own. This is pretty balanced. Now that they fixed the bug. It's gonna be pretty balanced, but like even without an ICD, but because there's also like mana, mana, mana things, and you know you can't, you know you're gonna run out of mana and stuff. You need to build mana, mana reach, and everything. But yeah, it's just like other stuff is makes it so strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe something like this should have like a less damage effectiveness or something like these proc nodes. And they, I mean, this is cool, you know, you, you amplify the deck stacking, but, mm. yeah. Yeah, but there's no reason to play bow mage, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, that is true. No reason to play bow mage over trapper, trap mage, trap mage, I guess. I call it blast drain marksman. I think it makes sense. You could also call it trap mage. Well, uh, actually, that's that might be bad. That's like that's like Binashol type of name, you know. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not trap mage. Uh, <laughs> people don't get the wrong idea, you know. Plus, Ren is like uh, safe. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <ay>, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Cap caps are a good system. Yeah. Yeah. True. Mm. Yeah, I'm hoping there's some for something for Sentinel also. So it's, I mean, new stuff is like War Warlock and Falcon are the main things, of course. But maybe there's something for Sentinel. I, I mean, we know Healing Hands is getting a tree, so you know maybe that's like in insane or something. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, Forge got rework. Yeah, I, I hope in like 1.1 and stuff they rework. Like a bunch of the classes, you know. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So last Depoch is launching on February 21st. Uh, so not too long to go for the launch. And uh, you can actually pre-order it uh, right now. So you can, there's like three different editions you can you can get. You can get the standard one. And there's like a del deluxe and ultimate edition. They get, you get like more uh, like MTX and uh, Epoch points and stuff like that. So you can, you can buy stuff from the uh, Epoch store. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you in the next one.